there. This is Spirit Quest Retreats, and we're interviewing Kirti. Hey, Kirti, how are you today? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Wonderful. <laughs> so I just thought we'd have this opportunity to discuss a few topics, and one being what are the most important components to life for you? What's mm -hmm. most important for you? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I would say that um, most important aspects of my life um, definitely daily walks in nature. Um, every morning I go out and hike uh, the Rector Trail in between Bell Rock and the Courthouse Butte um, out here, there in the village of Oak Creek where I live and um, you know it takes about 45 minutes to an hour but as long as I get that in first thing in the morning then the rest of my day no matter what happens <laughs> flows smoothly so you know definitely daily walks in nature. Um, can't recommend that more than, than enough but I uh, and walking barefoot too, as much as I can during that time. Really getting that connection to Mother Earth and feeling grounded and um, safe and supported um, by her presence. And yeah, definitely very important to me, <clears throat> that connection. And I would say yoga, uh, definitely another big uh, aspect of my life and, and has been for a very long time. Um, sometimes that looks like yoga asana, you know, doing the actual poses. Um, and then sometimes it just looks like sitting and um, just being in stillness for, you know, X amount of time. So um, yoga takes on many different forms. And um, I feel like as long as I'm practicing that, at least for a little bit each day, <clears throat> that definitely contributes to my overall well-being and peace, despite everything happening around us <laughs> in the world today. So, and... I would say, um, even though it's a simple thing, uh, proper sleep. <laughs> so going to bed with the sunset as much as I can. Um, usually I do, you know, around 8 or 8.30, start winding down and then waking up with that sunrise around 5.36 <clears throat> in the morning here. And uh, yeah, getting that circadian rhythm um, under my belt and uh, feeling like I'm, you know, rising and setting with the sun naturally uh, also helps maintain and strengthen that connection to Mother Earth. Wonderful. And what would you say is your favorite aspect to working at Spirit Quest? Yes. <laughs> well, it's a harder question, I think, <laughs> to answer because there's so many different aspects um, that I love about working at Spirit Quest. <clears throat> I would say, well, one of my favorites um, is actually talking with our clients on the phone and hearing their story and um, holding space for them during that time where they're really opening up their heart and their soul to me and being at their most vulnerable for some of them, um, you know, more than they've ever been with a family member or a friend sometimes. Um, so really just uh, feeling very honored and privileged to hold that sacred space uh, for a stranger on the phone who's willing to share that story that can be quite painful sometimes. Um, and to feel, you know, like they're giving me the opportunity to um, really guide them and really, you know, um, help them go down the right path and um, lead them in the right direction um, as far as the sessions and the practitioners that would be best for them to work with. So feeling very honored and blessed um, to be in that position. Yes, it is very important, that first phone call. Mm -hmm. And what sort of transformations have you witnessed over the year that you year or so that you've worked with us? Yeah, um, wow. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's also a hard one because I feel like I'm transforming every day, <laughs> even in just subtle ways. But I would say that um, realizing my own um, intrinsic sense of self-worth and my own value um, as a human being here on Mama Earth and um, being able to witness that and, um, and develop that through the conversations that I have with our clients, um, you know, because I support them, you know, realizing that intrinsic sense of self-worth within themselves as well. So I'm able to, um, to really strengthen that part of myself uh, during those deep conversations and um, yeah it's it's really about connection um, and really just supporting one another on this healing journey that we call life. Wonderful. All right Kirti, well thank you so much yeah, thank for you. spending this time with us and we appreciate you. I appreciate you too. Namaste. Namaste.